We're well into the spring breeding season for those cow herds here in Oklahoma that uh, plan to have the breeding season take place from May and, and through June. One of the uh, questions that often comes to mind for producers is what are the key factors that affect whether replacement heifers will get bred uh, during this first breeding season in their lifetime. Well, there's a really interesting study done at Iowa State University reported back in 2004. And uh, they looked at records from over 3,100 replacement heifers from six different herds in five different states and wanted to see what portion of the differences in conception rates and in pregnancy rates that was due to genetics and what portion of the differences that they found was due to management, the, the way that we take care of the heifers. Now, when they got through looking at the data from all of these heifers, what they found was only 3% of the differences in conception rate was due to genetics. So 97% of the differences being due to uh, the environment. When they looked at the heritability or the percentage that was due to genetics of pregnancy rate. Those that were pregnant after the end of an entire breeding season, it was higher at 13%. But that still means that 87% of the differences that they found in pregnancy rate are due to management, the way the heifers are handled and grown. Okay, that tells me then that one of the key things is still the way we grow heifers and how good a body condition they're in at the start of the breeding season. It also tells me that genetics does play a role in terms of uh, over a long period of time, we can make a little improvement in the reproductive capability of the heifers that we keep in our herd. So I'd suggest that uh, if at all possible, we select heifers from the cows that calved early in this year's calving season. That way we'll be, over time, be selecting those heifers that should have that genetic component for a little bit better uh, reproductive rates. Management's still the, the biggest portion of it, but genetics can help us over a long period of time. I hope this helps you understand a little better some of the differences that we see in uh, heifer uh, reproduction from year to year, from cow herd to cow herd, and that way we can put those two uh, particular strategies in our herd to get the highest percent each year that get bred. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <laughs>